All right, so recently Shane Gillis announced that he's partnering with Bud Light, which I think is a genius move from Bud Light because just take a look at some of these articles. Their headlines are hilarious. I don't know if these people will ever learn. Like this one says, Bud Light partners with right-wing comic fired for racist comments, and he also made homophobic comments and jokes. Another one says, Bud Light abandons trans folks and partners with anti-gay comic. Another one says, Bud Light trades Dylan Mulvaney for a conservative comedian who also has made racist and homophobic comments. So reading those headlines just makes me think, Bud Light is officially back. You know, this is exactly what they needed. And Shane was the perfect person for this. You know, not only is he one of the biggest comedians, and he was already a huge fan of Bud Light, but also, of course, people are going to try to cancel him again, or whatever you want to call this, and bring up his racist and homophobic comments, which is just funny at this point, because Shane's not even a controversial comedian. And the only people that will take these articles seriously and be all outraged by this and try to cancel Bud Light are people that were never drinking it to begin with. And unless Shane comes out of the closet or something, this will only help bring back their old consumer base because these headlines are perfect for them you know Bud Light hiring a conservative friendly comedian who's made homophobic comments I mean that's the exact opposite of Dylan Mulvaney so the people that were boycotting over that they're probably gonna be like oh shit Bud Light's doing something right here and I doubt Shane cares about the headlines you know he's probably more worried about his comment section because of course people are gonna be making gay jokes about it and that's just what you expect you know nobody's really pissed that he partnered with them people they understand like he's been drinking Bud Light the whole time he never boycotted them he's always been a fan and people know this was a partnership he wanted like he's mentioned a few times how he wanted to get sponsored by Bud Light but he actually thought he drank too much Bud Light for them to sponsor him Bud Light would be furious to know that you're not enjoying the products responsibly like they're asking no, you to yeah I know actually yeah people are like how come he's not sponsored it's like because I drink 20 beers every time <laughs> I'm on camera they can't they can't be like nice <laughs> And you know, Shane's doing a service here because he'll take an initial hit. People are going to be making gay jokes and trans jokes. But over time, you know, him and the UFC, who Bud Light just did a partnership with, they'll help restore their reputation. So when you go to buy one, you don't have to worry about somebody giving you a look or making a gay joke about it or something. You know, Shane said that was tough to deal with. Like every show he did, whenever he'd have a Bud Light, somebody would have to make a remark about it. If you order a Bud Light, people go... Yeah, what is it, your period? <laughs> like, they, mm. it's, uh, yeah, it's hard. It's I've hard out here, people dude. People are I've read that, that bar owners are stopping. They won't carry it because people who want it and buy it are getting attacked. Jesus, that's the, why. Getting start a fight. Yeah. You order a Bud Light at a bar and someone's like, we're fucking gay. What are you doing you... when you go to bars now? I'm, dude, I stay in stroke. Look at this. No one's going to beat up somebody wow. for supporting trans in New York. <laughs> but on no. stage, <laughs> on stage, yeah, it's what? tough. Yeah, bringing a Bud Light on stage now, you're now gonna, somebody's going to yell. Yeah, they're gonna, it's going to be something a, different than it's going to be a subject. And it's funny because also during this podcast, Joe said that Shane should be the new spokesperson for Bud Light and said he's somebody who could help turn it around. And it looks like they took his advice. Uh -oh. uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of, dude. I I agree with you. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I feel like you of. should be the new spokesperson. You could turn this motherfucker around. They oh, better hurry yeah. up and give me some money or I'm going to start drinking Coors Light. Coors. We were talking about the ways they could turn it around. And I think this was one of the best ways for them to do that. I mean, they did a complete 180 here. Like, it's crazy. Just less than a year ago, they're getting canceled for being pro-trans and LGBTQ, and now they're getting canceled for being anti-trans and homophobic, which is a lot better for their brand. You know, the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing was so stupid, because also after all that, she said that the response that Bud Light had to all the backlash was worse than not hiring a trans person at all, which again, I think only helps Bud Light, because Dylan's basically saying the way they handled the backlash only hurt the trans community. So now the people boycotting could look at it like, oh, Bud Light actually handled the backlash pretty well. And hiring Dylan ended up being bad for the trans community, so maybe they did the right thing here. And now with Shane Gillis and the UFC deal, like I think it's safe to say the Bud Light boycott is over. I mean, the fact that they're sponsoring UFC, like I'd say most of the fighters don't agree with any of the trans stuff. Like Sean Strickland, you know, one of the biggest names in the UFC, this is what he has to say about it. Are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh, man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh, man. Well, you, dude, you're a weak man, dude. You're like, you're part of the problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a, what, a mental fucking illness. And now all of a sudden, people like you have weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection.
you are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of King Mew. Yeah, so it's wild that in less than a year, Bud Light went from sponsoring Dylan Mulvaney to sponsoring UFC events. Like, those could not get further apart from each other. And the boycott was probably good for the UFC and Shane Gillis because I'm sure Bud Light paid them a ton of money. Like, this was something they needed to do. You know, like this comment says, Shane is going to single-handedly make Bud Light not gay again. And then there's some other funny comments. Somebody said, shout out to Bud Light for working with the disabled. And yeah, why can't people see the positive in this? You know, instead of those article headlines reading, Bud Light teams up with anti-gay comedian, how about Bud Light teams up with pro-Down syndrome comedian? Down syndrome! Down syndrome? I'll do that. That was not my suggestion. But I will say this, I like it. I'm pro it. I have family members that have it. It's fun. Yeah, so I think people should look at the positive here. You know, Bud Light with this deal, they're also helping bring awareness to people with disabilities. So overall, I think this was a really smart move for Bud Light. And obviously for Shane, this was like his dream partnership. I mean, he's already doing a lot of free promotion for them. Like whenever he's on Joe's podcast, he's usually drinking Bud Light. And like I said, he never stopped drinking through the boycott. So he is a loyal fan. And he's not going to let some gay and trans jokes stop him from pursuing his dream. So you got to respect it. And I'm sure more people are going to start reacting to this and talking about it. So it'll be interesting to hear people's opinions, you know, some more political people, what they have to say about it. You know, like this comment says on Shane's post, one sec, I got to ask Ben Shapiro if I'm supposed to be mad at this. And, you know, I'm sure there will be some people that are mad about this. I don't know if it's going to affect anything, but we'll see. So that's about it for this video. Make sure you go check out my Patreon account. There's a good video up on there about the time Matt and Shane played a basketball game against Luis Gomez and Big J, and it turned into a ton of drama. It almost destroyed their friendship. And there's also a video about how Sean Strickland thinks Joe Rogan abuses young Jamie. And there's just a ton of other stuff. There's over 65 videos. Most of them are over 20 minutes. And a lot of people say it's worth it. So if you're interested, make sure you go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. And then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.